This is part 2 of Angular 6 tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss installing Bootstrap and configuring it for use in an Angular 6 application. Here is the npm command for installing Bootstrap. Some of the features in Bootstrap has a dependency on jQuery. So this command installs both Bootstrap 3 and jQuery. To avoid any permission related problems installing Bootstrap for your Angular application, make sure you're running command prompt as an administrator and then change into the directory that contains your Angular application. In our case, the Angular application is present in this directory, Angular 6 project. Now execute this command which is going to install both Bootstrap and jQuery into the node modules folder. I've already executed this command so I'm not going to execute it again. Notice under dependencies within our package.json file we have an entry for both Bootstrap version 3 and jQuery version 3 and if we take a look at this node modules folder we should have a folder for Bootstrap. In the bootstrap folder, we have test, inside that we have CSS, and inside this folder, we have both non-minified and minified versions of the CSS file. Now, if we scroll down a bit further, we should also have a folder for jQuery. Notice, inside this jQuery folder, we have test, and in this folder, we have non-minified and minified versions of jQuery. Now, sometimes, in spite of successfully executing this npm command to install Bootstrap, you may not find this node modules folder in Visual Studio Code. If that is the case, restart Visual Studio Code and you should see this node modules folder. After installing Bootstrap, we need to configure it for use in our Angular application. This configuration is done in the Angular CLI configuration file, angular.json. Remember, in Angular 6, the Angular CLI configuration file is renamed from angular-cli.json to just angular.json. So, in this file, in the style section, we include the path to the bootstrap CSS file and in the script section, we include the path to the jQuery file and the bootstrap JavaScript file. Notice, I have already done this in angular.json file. Under styles, we have the bootstrap CSS file and under scripts, we have both jQuery and bootstrap JavaScript files. To verify that we have specified the correct paths for these files, let's build and run this project and request these files from the browser. In the address bar, let's specify the path to the bootstrap CSS file. First, let's copy the path from angular.json file. And then in the URL, include a forward slash and then the path. Here we go. We have the bootstrap CSS file contents delivered successfully. Similarly, we can verify if these two file paths are also correct. Now let's do another additional quick test to verify bootstrap styles work as expected. Within our root component, app component, let's include a button and style it with bootstrap. Let's include another list item here and within the list item let's include a button and the text on the button is going to say bootstrap styled button and let's style this button using the bootstrap CSS classes btn and btn dash primary. From the address bar, let's remove the bootstrap CSS file path. Notice the button is styled with bootstrap styles as expected. That's it in this video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.